Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved, the Frozen Factory DLC. We're on day 17 and oh boy, do we have a lot to do today. Wow, wow, wow. We're going to be taking care of the OET. We're going to finish off the OET. We're going to finish off, yes, another Mark V battery. It took a while to put all this stuff together for today. I got to tell you, so that's why the episode's a little bit later. Normally episodes won't take this long uh, to put out, but I tell you, there was just so much to do to get ready for today. So let's get started. And also we're hopefully going to be able to connect all this up to a new power source but we will talk about that in a bit first of all let's get our oet done right we still have to build i still have to build all the blocks for the oet i've got all the materials ready all of the research pods ready so let's do that um what is it under orbital hold on i don't i don't remember what it's orbit it's probably under progression or something i, I don't even remember whoops not orb orb there we go orbital energy transmitter component so I have 953 ready. We put down 100, or we had 100 already. So we're just going to craft all of these suckers. Wow, that was a lot of pods. <laughs> it does take time to build these pods. So, you know, I hope you guys at least respect the fact that <laughs> I put a lot of effort in on the in-between to get ready for today. Oh, uh, yeah, let's let's also build the Mark V battery. Get that ready to go, too. Uh, let's kill this. And the Mark V battery, yes, we need a lot of... Oh, shoot. Ah, that's fine. Oh, I actually didn't mean to build <laughs> more of those, but that's okay. So we're going to craft one, two, three. Hold on, up to 216. 216, and then one, two, three. And that should be enough for the Mark V battery component. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Beautiful. Another Mark V battery ready to go. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man, it is so satisfying to finally actually build these things after just collecting materials for so long. Being We've been under attack pretty heavily because I, I let some power go into this uh, Mark V power storage uh, block, the uh, the Mark V battery. So we're almost up to that uh, 4.5 million as well. And I did a bunch of work downstairs, and I'm going to show you that later. But first things first, let's get the rest of the OET down. What are we, We're going to put that... Sure, we'll put it on number two. Let's... Uh, Organize this. So I've got oh, another refinery vat to put down later. Two of them, actually. And I'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, where is he? Oh, there it is. It's pretty easy to spot. I don't know why I didn't see it right away. Okay, so let's just get her going. Let's do this one layer at a time. Should I fast forward this? Yeah, I think I'll fast forward this for you guys. And, oh no, oh no. So uh, one of the, I actually accidentally uh, built some some of the blocks over here. So, and I'm pretty sure that the, the silly uh, Falcor system got it. So we'll go collect that. We have one more block to put in, be right back. Bloody super efficient Falcor system. All right, here we go. Yes, there it is. Uh, the OET, isn't it glorious? Oh man, oh whoops. I, should, I thought I had my jetpack on there. Man, that looks so good, awesome. Oh, I like the platform, that looks really great. I'm, I'm pleased with that, that looks really cool. I might color it though. But otherwise, there is the OET, isn't that glorious? Oh, so this thing needs one million units of power. And with each million units of power, we can use it to charge it up and destroy one of the uh, bad guy hives. So we have four to destroy. Um, it's going to be a while before we get there. Uh, we have a lot of mo lot more infrastructure to build. As a matter of fact, we're going to build the next uh, Mark V. I'm going to fast forward this for you guys as well. And done! You know, it takes a little bit longer to build from the ground up like that, but it's way safer. You make way less mistakes, I think, or at least I do. <laughs> Excellent, so there we go, we've got our second Mark V. I forgot to put on my jetpack again. Ah, uh, there we go, oh man, doesn't that look glorious? All right, so these two babies are what's going to be powering the OET. Now, I'm not going to power the OET quite yet. I'm not gonna start that process quite yet, but I am gonna get the rest of the infrastructure built in here, like the uh, the lasers. Um, I might change away the way I did it on the 
from the other side. But uh, yes, actually, I'm going to go build those right now. I don't know if I have enough material for that because I used my material to build more PSP3s by accident. So we'll grab a couple more. Oh, uh, rating. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I've got a, a dead nickel mine, but I've got another one to replace it. So it's all good. See what the bottleneck here is. It looks like titanium's a little bit slower. That's that's okay. I think it's coming. Okay, hopefully I have enough to build at least three lasers. Okay, so I've got one. Crafting, oh, perfect. Crafting, crafting, yeah, I'll just crafting. build five of those. That's good. And, oh, yes, before we go, these are going to have to have um, crude organic lenses. So we'll build... Crafting. I'll just build a handful of these. The crude organic crafting. lenses increase the transmitter by 100%, turning these lasers from 320 to 740 power something like that anyway or 640 power uh, a substantial difference in my opinion well not not really opinion at all it is it is a matter of fact all right so we're gonna put these in here i'm not gonna put the psbs in between i don't think uh, i don't think that's necessary as long as we have the uh whoops uh, turn the jetpack off excellent <laughs> as long as we have uh are they, okay so we're at the base here as long as we have the or Organic lenses in here. We should be fine. So how we're gonna get up though? <laughs> um, hmm. okay. I guess we'll. I guess hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, we'll we'll add the shield reinforced block. That sounds as good as anything. And we'll go up by two. And we'll do another one. F three. So it's like so. And add another lens. I have to add the lenses to the other side as well because I have not done that yet. 6, T, ro rotate, E, and then add the last lens. Perfect. So they will transmit 640 apiece. Now these these engines, they produce... Oh, I see. That may not be enough. These, these engines currently produce 200 each. So that's 400 total per layer. But I believe the... Oh, look at that. Oh, look. We've got the little space station now. Oh, so cool. But uh, once we get the improved power source, which we're going to talk about in a second, these are both... I think these will produce 400 each, which means the 640 is not going to be enough. We either have to get better lenses or we have to add some buffers in there, like some PSB3s or something. I guess we could do the same thing as we did on the other side. All right. So next on the list... We're going to start working on... We need to improve our power sources because we've been getting attacked by some bosses now already. <laughs> our our threat level has reached around six or 7,000 at certain points in time as I do certain things. So the next logical step is to go... Is to turn our high energy composite fuel into the better type of fuel. Um, I can build that device right now. Uh, it's under progression, strangely. <laughs> the fuel compressor. This is a 27 block units so we'll build 25 26 27 now in order to do this oh do i have enough for another couple mark fives i wonder oh i have enough for one mark five ah oh, that's gonna have to do so what i want to do is i want to push these refinery vats back and i want to double them up so if I, if I remember correctly if you stack the refinery vats they double their performance so i'm going to build uh, the refinery vats right about want them right on the edge, actually. I want to utilize as much space as possible. So, yeah, that's one, two, three, and I'll just go one, two, three. Excellent. Two, three, one, 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 two, th oh! <laughs> three, <laughs> three, one, two, three. We need that one there anyway, so we're going to build another one. I think we'll build the other one right on top right away, so let's kill this. And just jetpack back up here before the Falcor system, my amazing Falcor system, steals it. <laughs> Two, three, and we'll build all the way around. It might have actually already stolen one. I don't know. We'll see. Two, three, one, two, three. Oh, see? The Falcor system... Oh, no, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to do a Mark V battery on top of this. Two, three, one, two... <laughs> Three. It's like it's like Sesame Street. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. There we go. Uh, there we go. So we've got another Mark V battery here. Now I don't want to waste. Oh, let's go up top of these. I don't want to waste the power that's in these Mark V batteries. I mean, there's like 270,000 units of power in these things. I don't want to just waste it because I mean, now power. I mean, that honestly, that would just be ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a laser, a freaking laser on top of that. I'm going to delete this 
solar panel as well. And I'd like to, as soon as these are drained, I'd like to build, I don't have enough for another Mark IV right now, uh, unfortunately, but uh, as soon as these are drained, actually, you know, a quick way to drain the power is actually use them for defense. But uh, as soon as this thing, uh, actually, let's put a uh, nice big organic lens in there too. That should uh, steal as much of that power as possible, as quickly as possible. And then once that's done, I'm gonna move all of this infrastructure all of this uh, refinery infrastructure back, and we're gonna put, hopefully we can build this thing now. I I've never built this thing before, this is brand new to me. The fuel, what is it called? Uh, the fuel compressor, I have never built this thing before. So this is interesting. Um, we're gonna put that right in front. I don't know what the right answer is. If we put it right in front, uh, it might be a little bit of a pain. I don't know, I, I think right in front's probably okay. So we'll give it a little bit more room. So we'll do about here. So, whoops, <laughs> that would be a storage chopper. Not building a row of storage choppers. We are building a, fru a fuel compressor. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so and then we're gonna go one, two, three. Uh, and as per usual, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and try not to make any mistakes because it's costly in time. There, fuel compressor, interesting. Oh, cool. This is the first time I've ever seen this thing. So, so it needs coal and high energy fuel canisters, high energy fuel composite fuel to produce a better type of fuel, I believe. And I think if we, hmm, hmm. So, and I do have coal coming in here. Now, uh, you notice, hey, something else you guys may have noticed. All of that coal, that big coal deposit, that big coal deposit that was right here is finally exhausted. So we've started, I started cleaning up the base. It really opened it up, hey? Look at that, man. That looks so great. I'm really glad that we finally used that sucker up. I've got another fuel source or another coal source back and behind. And I've added power to the uh, missile, missile production facility. I'm going to have to expand this thing too if we want to survive because uh, I'm thinking we're probably gonna build missiles all the way around our perimi perimeter. Won't that be fun? Okay, so we're gonna build. So the high, so the uh, canisters are gonna come in here. We, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait until these uh, these batteries are drained because I need these uh, refinery vat controllers and everything so that we can finish off building the rest of this device. And I'm just thinking here. So the coal's gonna come in through here and I think I don't know, I think what we'll do is we're gonna add a a mini hopper here so that we can slow down the rate at which the coal comes out of this side. I don't know if that's what I want in the end, but so it's gonna fill up this this uh, this small little mini hopper here full of coal. And then we're going to pump it out from here. I'll probably change, I'll probably put all this underground at some point, but I'm just building the infrastructure so I get an idea of what I'm gonna have to do. So I'll do that and we're gonna bring that all the way over to all right, right over my staircase fantastic that's exactly what I want not really and then this sucker is going to have a storage hopper here so that should slow the rate at which coal comes out because we're using the mini hopper the mini hopper is quite slow maybe 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 it might be too slow it's probably gonna be too slow so let's and if we do and if we do a logistics hopper it's pro it might not spread in here oh yeah okay it does but it's gonna come out nice and slow yeah perfect that's exactly what I want Excellent, so we're gonna rotate that, perfect. And that's gonna come in here. So we've got our coal coming in on this side. This is going to be remove only. And then we're gonna have our high energy fuel coming out, or high energy fuel, uh, composite fuel coming out here. And that's gonna enter into this side, like so. I, I could be wrong in all this. I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. Right, and then the refinery vac controller is gonna be on this side. The biofuel is going to be coming, or the biomass is going to be coming in on this side. Perfect. And then it should uh, remove only, and then we'll exit it. Then we'll exit it right here. And from here, we're going to distribute it all the way throughout the base. And I've kind of got some infrastructure started. Uh, let's go take a look at that. Ugh. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. I need to do something about that uh, turbine. It's in the wrong spot. Let's remove this for a second. So I've got some infrastructure built underneath the base that goes right up into the OETs or right up into the uh, the power infrastructure for the OET. So it's already set, set to go. So we've got one line going in with the canisters and one line coming out with the empty canisters. Make sense? I hope so. <laughs> Uh, it should all make sense. Anyway, so uh, before we do all that, we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let the power drain out of this thing. I'm not gonna attach the uh, solar panel or anything yet. I'm just gonna let all the power drain out. In the meantime, what I'd like to do 
that's fine. If the, all the power drains out of this, it's not going to affect our power systems right now because we're still running all, almost all on uh, infused coal. That's going to be changing soon, but not quite yet. So I don't have to worry about our defenses. Let's go downstairs. We've got some things that we need to do downstairs. Some actually fun stuff, really fun stuff. Jim Bob's down here too. <laughs> Jim Bob, Jim Bob is actually in kind of a pickle. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, Jim Bob's Jim Bob is in a bit of a pickle right now. Jim Bob is actually trapped inside of this uh, the hive mind. Notice I have taken care of all of the hive mind schmutz, all of the resin inside of this room, outside of this little area. Now, immediately around the hive mind, you can mine this out, but it, when you reload the game, the hive mind hive mind replaces all this resin instantaneously. So, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of an exploit in a way. I, I don't I don't do it on purpose, but when I do, I mean, I have to quit playing the game at some point in time. So when I leave and I come back, all of the uh, the resin immediately around the hive mind has returned. But uh, now you'll notice all of the rest of the schmutz in the room is now gone. I actually uh, strategically placed a second set of resin processing facilities around the room so that they would would get rid of all of the other stuff. So now we're actually ready to build. Uh, box this thing in and and start harvesting it properly. So we're gonna actually feed it and harvest it properly. But to do that, we're gonna use we're gonna use the chill block, just because I don't know it's sort of the theme. We're doing frozen factor. We're gonna use all chill blocks, and we're going to start. Actually, I'll just uh, I'll go all the way up. That's fine. We'll go all the way up, and I'll probably fast forward this. But we're gonna box it in from the top down, right? So we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna go. Bloop bloop. I'm gonna fast forward. Ah, balls, I ran, out, I ran out of construction pace, but I have a solution for that. Thanks to a, a myth. Thank you, a myth. Uh, you provided me with a, such a simple, but elegant, but uh, amazingly disturbing solution to me. I hate, you know what? I just don't like being wasteful and it feels wasteful, but it's totally not. So there is a way to build an enormous amount of construction paste and it's super easy and it was so obvious and I don't know why I didn't think about it. I think the reason I didn't think about it is because, I don't know, it just kind of bends me the wrong way somehow. I don't know how, I don't know why, but so what we can do is we've got some of this odd material just sitting here. We've got some coal, we've got some tin, there's some iron, there's some even some coal conveniently placed in the ground here. And what we can do is we can build a construction paste machine that produces construction paste just from this random material that's sitting here. Why I didn't think of that before on my own I don't know. Thank you, Amith. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate the help on that because, I don't know, for some reason, and it still bends me the wrong way. I'm like, I'm just going to use, you know, coal or tin for a construction piece? That seems like a ridiculous idea. Uh, okay, so, oh, perfect. How convenient is that? Um, yeah, that should work. Sure. Let's put down, let's put down a mine here. Let's get a mine on our bar. I've got one handy. Sure, we'll stick it right right here. That sounds good. Oh, that's not a mine. That would be a solar panel. I do that every single time. How long have I been playing this game and I still do that? Okay, we're going to stick a uh, PSB there. We're going to fit this thing. Yeah, we are still going to use a motor and a drill bit and we're going to feed this thing. Now, if I, if I put a conveyor belt down on the bottom here, we're going to start getting Minox here. And I'm not ready for the Minox yet. This thing is not totally sealed in quite yet. It's close. It's close, but it's not quite there yet. So I think we're going to put the... If we put the conveyor belt on the top of this thing... So notice we're at 81 meters right now. But if I go right on top of this conveyor belt, we are at 80 meters, which means Minox should not appear here. Don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. <laughs> I have been wrong before, and I think I have. Um, actually, let's build let's build a little platform this for this machine, and we'll just make it. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Uh, we'll make it like that long, maybe maybe longer. So the the purpose of this machine is to create construction pace for us. So let's delete this, and maybe we'll make it a little bit longer because I think we're gonna want more storage hoppers here. And I think I don't know for sure, but I think storage hoppers uh, share. Uh, I'm using multiple different materials here. This is bending me the wrong way in so many ways. I think storage hoppers share materials when it comes to... Oh, you know what? We could probably put the construction paste machine right on top of this. Um, where is the construction paste machine? I do have one handy. There it is. Okay, so let's stick it right on top of that sucker. 
on top of that uh, storage hopper. So that's starting to produce construction paste. Now we can do a row, an array of storage hoppers. I just want to confirm that construction paste gets shared between storage hoppers. Some items do raw materials, some item raw materials do and some don't. This needs to be remove only, remove only, kill that. And we'll start to see the construction paste go into the first one. And if it shares with the other ones, then we could just build an entire array of storage hoppers. Ah, yes, it's sharing. Excellent. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, how convenient is that? So we should be able to just build storage hoppers. Oh, do I care if it's like that? I do. I do. Why do I care? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to build these manually one by one. Okay, let's, let's uh, just go all the way down the row here. This is a lot of storage hoppers, but we need a lot of construction paste. I had 11,000 construction paste on me before I started building this little barrier. So, I mean, we used it up so quickly. We need to produce a lot of storage paste. Okay, I'm gonna have to build a couple more storage hoppers. So let's get those going. Um, let's just build another 50 storage hoppers. Remember, I remember a time, even in, you know, in this game and the last game where like, oh my God, I have to build like five storage hoppers. That's crazy. Now I build them in like 50s, 100s. <laughs> It does get to a point where you're like, oh, that's that's a piece of cake, right? Uh, see, and they all have to be facing the right direction. I am, I don't know why I'm like this, and I'm sure mo a lot of people that play this game are like this. I think you have to be a little bit OCD to play this game. I, I, I mean, I suppose you don't have to be. I, I guess you could get away with not being as crazy as people like me. But uh, there we go. So now this machine, I want this machine to work very, very fast. I wonder how much how much coal is in this deposit. I was starting to dig out this coal at one point, but I stopped. There's only uh, 43,000 in here. Whoops, I just did a ping. Whoops, I think what we're gonna do is we're going to replace this and we're going to improve that drill head. We're gonna give it a really good drill head too. I know, this is insane. It's madness, it's madness. Our construction paste is going to have, I think, well, hey, let's build our first atomic drill motor. I don't know if I've have enough, I'll have enough power for that here. But we'll give it a shot anyway. This is my very first antimatter drill motor. Let's throw that in here. So this is 128 times speed. Oh, why does that stop? Oh, I know exactly why. Okay, so this thing can't be remove only. This thing has to be add and remove. This thing has to be after the conveyor belt. Okay, no problem. No problem. So you know what's with that antimatter motor in there, it's prop this machine's probably gonna work faster than that conveyor belt that can actually move things. So maybe what we'll do, ah, turn off the stupid jetpack. Maybe what we'll do is we're gonna do a, I know I'm spending a lot of time showing you the construction pace machine, but this is important. This is actually super, oh no, that's not gonna work either. Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, the construction pace machine can go right here. No, ah, bugger. Construction pace machine can go right here and we can add another. Nope, that's not gonna work either. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. But this one has to be remove only. There we go, remove only. Excellent, that goes into the construction pace machine and it's gonna fill up all of these storage hoppers. There we go. <laughs> that works. <sighs> it's sloppy, it's sloppy, but actually it's not that bad. It looks kinda cool. I, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let that machine cook. And as soon as that's done, we're gonna finish uh, putting the barrier around this uh, this uh, this hive mind, and then once that's done, we're gonna move our our processing facilities down a little bit, and then we're just gonna start feeding the hive mind with Minox. It's gonna be super funny. It's gonna be great, actually. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Okay, this thing's just about out of power. It's got a little bit more to go. As a matter of fact, I'll speed it up. I'll take because it's all uh, there was a bottleneck here. It was full of high energy fuel, so we'll take that. It's gonna finish off working. Um, in the meantime, we can take this fuel canister crafter, and we're gonna build that right. Here. I'm really glad I didn't automate the iron going into this quite yet because we weren't, I was. I mean, I knew I was going to have to probably move things. I didn't want to automate anything until I was totally done with it. So we're going to put that right here and, oh yeah, right like that. And we're going to add a couple more storage hoppers. Just one storage hopper that should be good and we'll get the conveyors in here. And now I can actually automate this thing. I wonder, hmm, the iron's... Yeah, the iron can come here. That's fine. We can go underground. That's that's totally cool. So we'll go like that and like that and like that. Perfect. So it's going to feed in the canisters here. We need the controller, right? So that should be just about done. Is it Is it building them? It should be. Oh, it's out of canisters. Okay, I've got some canisters on me, I believe. So let's 
Fill that sucker up. Okay, the PSBs are completely drained now, but I'm also gonna move the coal line right in behind the sink, because I think that'll be a little bit more efficient. So we can add the coal, and it'll look better. Of course, I might still put this coal line underground, I don't know yet, and this can be remove only. So we've got our high energy fuel canisters coming in here, and then our coal coming in here, which should work great. And now we can take apart uh, this system. <laughs> go beautiful so i don't know if we're gonna need that much plastic but i, I figured we double double up on that refinery anyway just in case right now i don't know if i have enough to do an organic solar panel i'm not gonna worry about the organics right now um i don't know i just don't think i have enough um liquid resin at this point in time so we're just gonna put the solar panels on top Okay, this is underneath. I've just connected the line, almost just about done here. So we're gonna do another couple conveyor belts going up like that. And then I've done a switcher here and that is going to connect to both. Now plastics, I don't know how much more plastics we're gonna need in this game. Oops, ah, bugger. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. There we go, perfect. And then we'll connect that line up like this all the way up to the plastics refinery vat. There we go, beautiful. That should start producing high energy fuel right away. High energy composite fuel, is it working? Oh, why is there no power? Oh, oh, I didn't realize that. Oh. So it used to be, you used to be able to stack these and they would connect to each other and that would work, but now it's not working. So maybe, maybe they've changed it. They must have changed it. Oh man, all right. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to dismantle this and move those PSBs down, I guess. Ugh, what a pain. Yeah, this used to, this setup used to work. It mu They must have changed it. Oh, man. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I built another Mark IV. We're going to throw another Mark IV in, because this, this, uh, this, apparently this thing needs uh, power as well. It probably needs quite a bit. Probably more than what I can provide with just a solar panel. Oh, uh, one more. One more layer. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna see here. I should check the power per second rating on it. Oh, I guess one more layer. Sorry, <laughs> not paying attention. I'm thinking about how I'm going to organize this. There we go. So we've got this here, and I'm gonna move over. I'm gonna move over all this power to this thing now. <laughs> uh, we just need to use up all this power. So let's. Um. Rotate. There we go. Excellent. So we're going to get all the power over to this thing, but it's working. The fuel the fuel compressor is working. It requires or it wants 512 power per second. There's no way there is no way we're going to produce that with well, we could actually with a couple of good solar panels. No, it's going to be it's going to be tight though. I guess I don't know if this thing's hmm, I'm not sure. I'm just kind of waiting. So it is it is actually oh, it's composting. Okay, so there we go. We've actually produced Yes, we have high octane fuel. It has no icon. Really? This thing has no icon? Are you serious? <laughs> oh man, I thought this game was pretty much done. How can this have no icon? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, anyway, so we're producing the high octane fuel. Now this high octane fuel should produce a ton more power. Okay, so we're gonna go test out the high octane fuel and see how much power we get out of a turbine with the high octane fuel. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Uh, so let's go over to, yeah, we'll go, we'll go stack, stick it in one of these, uh, in one of these turbines just to see how much power we can so right now a turbine produces a little under 200 with the high octane fuel what are we going to get out of it high octane fuel it's funny that there's no icon for this so high octane fuels in there does that not work with maybe maybe the turbines don't take high octane fuel what takes high octane fuel oh Okay, that's unexpected. What do we use the high octane fuel for? I thought it was for the turbines and stuff. What? Hold on, hold on. I better hold on. Let's uh, let's take a look at this and help. 
I don't usually go to, into help with you guys, but I have no idea. Oh, it's not. Oh, unknown materials. No, 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 no. Hold on. Where is... Let's highlight it on the bar. Nine. Help. High octane fuel. No specific help. Is this something that's just not done? Ah. Uh, really? So I put together this machine for no good reason? I don't understand. What is the high octane fuel for? So I guess... I guess we're just using regular... Regular high energy fuel... Composite fuel to uh, power the turbines? I mean, that's fine, but I thought we had a better fuel source here. Oh, that's that's actually quite disappointing. That's quite disappointing. So, I don't know. Maybe the high octane fuel is for... Oh, I just thought of something. Maybe the high octane fuel is for... This thing. The high orbital debris object reclaimer. Uh, so the Hodor... <laughs> as it's otherwise known, can be used to knock out orbital debris out of the atmosphere for our use, built in a 3x3, three 3x1x3 by three, three by by three configuration, so I need 9 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Unfortunately, I'm completely out of time for this episode. I'm going to have to continue this in a couple days. I totally over-recorded today, so we'll be back in a couple more days with the continuation of the high-octane fuel dilemma, which has now been solved, but you'll find out the answer to that question in a couple days. All right, take care, guys. Bye, bye, bye.